All right, good morning, boys and girls. It is time for another read aloud. But before we do, we're gonna do our joke of the day. Are you ready? All right, it is, why did the child cross the playground? To get to the other slide. <laughs> get it, not side, slide, so funny. Okay, so today we are going to be reading a story. The story is called Firefighter Ted. Firefighter Ted. And if you watched our opening group video, you would know that we talked about firefighters and how they're helpful for the community. And our message of the day was, does anyone remember what our message of the day today was? It was, we are going to put out a fire. So firefighters are people in the community that help the community. They save animals, they put out fires, they do a lot of important things for the community and we need firefighters in our community. So we're gonna read the story. And as we read the story, I want you to think about why firefighters are important. Why do you think firefighters are important? So this story is called Firefighter Ted. Firefighter Ted. One morning, Ted woke up and sniffed the air. It smelled like smoke. That's not good, thought Ted. I need a firefighter. Ted looked everywhere, but he couldn't find one. And since Ted couldn't find a firefighter, he became a firefighter. But every firefighter needs a fire truck. Firefighter Ted found a fire truck. That was lucky, he thought. I need a fire extinguisher too. Firefighter Ted looked everywhere else. Since he couldn't find a fire extinguisher, he made one. Now where is that fire, thought Firefighter Ted. Need a firefighter, a fire extinguisher. Out of whipped cream. Firefighter Ted searched the house. The kitchen was filled with smoke. It rose from a plate on the table. Stand back, shouted Firefighter Ted. He put out the toast and helped his mother to safety. That was your breakfast, said his mother. It still is, said Firefighter Ted. And now it's nutritious and safe. Go to school, said his mother. Remember, said Firefighter Ted, only you can prevent breakfast fires. It was very hot outside. The sidewalk sizzled and hurt Firefighter Ted's feet. He saw a kitten on the hot sidewalk. It needed help. Firefighter Ted rescued the kitten and two puppies and three tricycles. The crowd was speechless. No need to thank me, said Firefighter Ted, and he waved to the crowd. When Firefighter Ted arrived at school, the principal was waiting for him in the hallway. You are late, said Principal Bingham. Firefighter Ted frowned. You are blocking the fire alarm, he said. You see the fire alarm? And he helped the principal to safety. Principal Bigham turned bright red. Watch out, said Firefighter Ted. You're overheating. Principal Bigham's face turned redder and redder still. Stop, drop, and roll, said Firefighter Ted, and he helped Principal Bigham to safety. Uh-oh. Principal Bigham was speechless. He pointed to Mrs. Johnson's room. No need to thank me, said Firefighter Ted. Mrs. Johnson's students were in line at the door. They were going to see the science fair exhibits in the cafeteria. A parade, shouted Firefighter Ted. Firefighters always lead parades. Firefighter Ted led the parade down the hall. Woo, woo, woo. All the other classes came out to watch. Everyone loves a parade, said Firefighter Ted, and he waved to the crowd. Firefighter Ted looked around the cafeteria. There was danger everywhere. Oh, 
Volcanoes, yelled Firefighter Ted. He jumped into action. Firefighter Ted stopped the volcanoes from erupting and helped the students to safety. They were speechless. No need to thank me, said Firefighter Ted. Suddenly, Firefighter Ted smelled something burning. A thin stream of smoke rose from Principal Bigum's pants. The smoke got thicker and thicker. His pants got hotter and hotter. Principal Bigham ran his way, this way and that. Help, he yelled. Call a tailor, call the janitor, call the library. Just call somebody. But Firefighter Ted was already there. He helped the principal to safety. He pulled the fire alarm and started the fire sprinklers. <laughs> Just then, the tailor arrived with a janitor and a librarian. You need pants, said the tailor, and a mop, said the janitor. Good thing you had Firefighter Ted, said the librarian. My work here is done, said Firefighter Ted. You can keep the fire extinguisher and remember, only you can prevent pants fires. <laughs> that night, Ted put away his fire truck and went to bed knowing he had done a good job. He lay awake for a very long time. There is so much to know about fire safety, he thought. A poster could help everyone understand. Ted did not have a poster, but I could make one, he thought. If I had a paintbrush. And it says, wonder who Ted will be next. Looks like he's gonna be a painter next. So firefighter Ted was a little bit silly and he wasn't really a firefighter, he was pretending, but it still is very important to have firefighters in the community because these things really would happen. Maybe some animals would get stuck in a tree and a firefighter would come to save them. And if someone really did catch on fire or if someone's house caught on firefighter, a fireman would need to be called to save the day. But firefighter Ted was being a little bit silly. And if a fire goes off, some places have sprinklers like this that shoots out water. All right, boys and girls. So I want you to tell somebody in your house why you think firefighters are important and help the community. And also, you guys can, if you, you're doing your make-believe play, you can play, pretend, play, and be a firefighter, um, putting out a house, saving an animal. You can have your brothers and sisters or people in your family play with you. You can do all fun things and learn about firefighters and why it's important to have them in the community and what they do and all sorts of things. I'm sure all of you have seen a fire truck before and a parade or, or during um, Christmas time. I know there's fire trucks go around with Santa on top. So think about all those things. All right, and we will be back here tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed the story, boys and girls. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.